Ah, <sighs> feels good you guys. Nissan Weekend Warriors is back. You know that's what time it is when we're standing in front of a beautiful car just like this. Oh, I'm headed to Goodfellas in New Haven, which I hear is a really awesome restaurant. I'm gonna get there in the all new Nissan Altima 2020. Now, this thing is sweet, you guys. Take a look at the black leather interior, but I'm really excited about the all-wheel drive, which is really important now that we're getting closer to winter, dealing with snow, but it's also got automatic emergency braking, and it's also got Nissan's Safety Shield 360, which is a suite of technologies that are, again, meant to give you more control in the driver's seat. Okay, now we got the jams going. Let's head to Goodfellas in New Haven. See y'all there. So you guys, we're here at Goodfellas, and I hear that Al Pacino has been here before and a number of other uh, famous individuals. So I've actually got Gennaro Inacom. He's the executive chef here at Goodfellas. So tell me, so tell me about this place. Why is it uh, so synonymous with famous celebrities? Let's, let's start off with Bob De Niro was here. <laughs> Robert De Niro. Yes. Classic. Yes. And uh, Lorraine Bracco. Mm -hmm. We did a wine tasting with Lorraine Bracco a few years back and uh, quite a few Sopranos have been here also. I have a good reputation. I've been in, in New Haven restaurant business for quite a long time, our whole family has. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, the reputation that we have brings in a lot of people already. And then with the uh, Goodfellas name, seems that there's a little catch and everybody comes, everybody wants to see uh, uh, a gangster movie on television while they're dining, you know, it's all stuff like that. All right, so good fellas means they must have some really good food. So tell me about the specialty that you're gonna be making for us today. So today we're gonna to make our staple dish. It's a uh, filet mignon, which is beef tenderloin, and it's grilled, and then it's uh, topped with a grilled portobello mushroom, picked uh, main lobster meat, and then that's sauteed with a little heavy cream and the cognac sauce, and uh, then it's drizzled, and, you know, just like topped all over it, and then that's it, we go to town. Yeah, go to town is right. We're about to go in the kitchen, make this thing right now. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Ooh, that sounds good. First, we're going to take our filet mignons, and we're going to put a little bit of our special seasoning over the top. Like we're going to start grilling it right there. A little bit of olive oil, just to wet the pan a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Then, a little bit of chopped shallots. Stand back. Poof the flambe. Ooh. Now you can smell it, That's right? That's how we do that. Now you smell the cognac right now. Don't try go. this at home. Oh yeah, no, you can try this at home. You're kidding me? Absolutely. Then you add your heavy cream. Now everything's gonna come together here. We're gonna add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. All right, and uh, just a, a little more salt. A little bit, okay. a little bit more salt. Now as this is cooking right here, never have we're, to. We're, gonna, we're gonna flip our filet. Here we go. We add our lobster meat. Oh yeah. We had our portobello mushroom, and before you know it, it's all gonna come together really, really quick. The waft. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I wanna right. dive in there. Can I live yeah. in that pan? So oh, now wow. here we go, and then we just drizzle it with all oh, that oh, lobster, I, I cognac. Can't. I can't. Oh my God. How do you oh. work in here and not eat like everything? And voila, here is my signature dish, filet cognac. If you see this anywhere in the state of Connecticut, you know it came from Goodfellas. Jerry Iannacone invented that. I'm literally, you see how easy I'm cutting this? I'm not even holding it all the way. Gotta get the sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Chef, um, do you have any kids? Sure, I have three. You have? Okay, well you just got a four. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're, I adopted you. Yes, I am coming okay. home with you after this dish here. Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of satisfaction here because mm -hmm. it took a long time to, to get these recipes, a long time to get where I am. Um, <clears throat> you know, I've been doing this since I was 15. I was washing dishes. I come from a family of eight. So we really couldn't go to our parents and ask for any money because we all, my father worked around the clock. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is where I learned this business and I learned at a young age how to work it. And uh, so we have a lot of satisfaction. I have the most satisfaction in seeing people enjoy our food. And um, you know, what else can I say? I mean, you can tell on your face. And you're still eating while you're doing this interview, so that usually you'll take a bite and stop, but you're still so going in it. We're gonna be going on 15 years now that Goodfellas has been open. Wow. So uh, time has flown, flown by real quick, and uh, here we are. P.S., now what we have here, 
is the Goodfellas Cupcake. We've got some peach and raspberry around the edge here. This is chocolate and yellow cake covered with chocolate ganache. Oh, truly an embarrassment of riches here at Goodfellas in New Haven. Now, while I handle this awesome dessert, you guys ponder the many ways that you're gonna get down here, fly, walk, take the bus, hop on a plane, carpool, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Just get down here right now. <laughs> this face says it all. <laughs>